nation. Happy Taco Tuesday. Um, it's Tuesday, a uh, week after Thanksgiving. Had an awesome, awesome weekend. Hung out with the kiddos. Uh, had the uh, outlaw, uh, the outlaw shootout boat races in uh, back home. Um, that goes on at the Sundance Saloon in Parker, Arizona. So uh, the name alone ought to give you uh, the impression that uh, we had a good time. And then uh, back to work uh, Monday morning and uh, up bright and early. Uh, trying to find something to get me out of town and uh, it wasn't easy as you'd think man uh, people got a late start and, and I got an early start I know I saw uh, Danny Holland Cash uh, post his video uh, he was up bright and early and, and he likes to run around in the hills over there on the east side of the country and and he was seeing something different than I saw over here um, it was uh, really really slow for the longest time and there was one load that I was kind of keeping my eye on it was a three hour deadhead to go pick up but uh, uh, you know I thought if I could pair something up with it it might make sense but couldn't pull it off uh, it did it stuck around till late in the day and I called on it and the guy says yeah you know you can have it but it's been pushed out till tomorrow morning and I was like well you know what burn the hand I'll take that get an early start and uh, he says well it doesn't pick up till 10 a.m. like all right so I came out, it was in Gilbert, Arizona, almost exactly three hours from the house. I went over there, held up for the night, get, so that way I'd get an early start first thing in the morning. Uh, I wouldn't have to waste any of my drive time, stuff like that. And uh, even late in the day, uh, I was able to, to uh, book a uh, uh, Chevy Silverado, which is on the back of the tra trailer now, uh, to go with it. And um, I actually even backed, uh, booked a load um, coming out of uh, Northern California up around uh, Morro Bay where I'm dropping these off. Uh, I found a load out of there getting me over to Utah. Um, so first thing this morning, uh, he tells me, yeah, it doesn't load till 10. Well, great. I've got a pickup truck I can throw on the trailer and uh, I'll get an early start on that. I get that at eight o'clock, be over to see him around 10. Well, about eight o'clock rolls around and the guy on the, uh, the, the uh, first load going up to uh, Morro Bay, he called, said they pushed the load out yet another day. Well, I'm already committed to this truck. I remembered uh, when I booked that truck, uh, the guy said he had another uh, pickup truck, identical to this one, up in Prescott, Arizona. Uh, he was looking to get up there. So I reached out to him, it was still available, and uh, I booked that too. I went over and I picked up this first truck that's on the trailer now, and coincidentally, coincidentally, it's the exact same dealership where I bought my 2014 Ram 3500 that I'm using to drag it up the hill in. So, that's why I say it's a weird, weird morning, man. A lot of shenanigans going on for being this early in the week. So, anyway, heading up the hill out of Phoenix towards Prescott. Gonna go pick up this other uh, Chevy. Silverado and then once I've got it on the trailer uh, I'll get some video for you and uh, we'll see what other kind of shenanigans go down this week we're out here on the i-5 58 split uh, Bakersfield California just doing a little pre-trip you might say there's only one vehicle on the trailer, and you would be right. And there's a good reason for that. We'll get into that in just a minute. It's a beautiful truck. I had to, I had to swap out these lasso straps. I had them going around the wheels, and uh, and then cinched back. And what happened was, you can see back there, it was actually the front wheel. See how the brake caliper, I think it was somewhere down in here. Somewhere down in here, the strap ran across and uh, was vibrating on the brake caliper or whatever that is and I wound up 
with a snap strap. So I relocated them around the wheel and uh, seems to be working out a lot better. I don't usually like to do that because then if they say you jacked up, there's a scratch on the wheel, guess whose fault it is. Anyway, let's get down the road. And I'll tell you the story about why there's only one truck on the trailer. Our nation, it is Wednesday morning. Uh, third day, third Monday in a row. Week stacked full of shenanigans, man. That is the word of the week. So, I told you about Monday. Kind of got skunked on, on finding a decent load. And then, you know, tried to piece it all together. And, you know, Monday night. By Monday night, I thought I had a, a fairly decent week scheduled. Um, but, uh, as you know, my uh, luck would have it. Um, bad luck took over the situation. Um, so just to recap, I had a fairly decent load scheduled for Tuesday morning pickup. Had to deadhead three hours into Gilbert, Arizona. Hold up for the night. While I was sitting around doing nothing, I, I managed to pick up uh, another load to sweeten the deal. It was a, a Chevy truck, that one that's on the back now. And then uh, uh, my pickup time for the first truck was 10 a.m. I was able to, uh, my first pickup make sure I didn't screw that up. My first pickup was scheduled for 10 a.m., but then I picked up the load. Uh, I scheduled a pickup for the pickup truck. That's why it's confusing. 8 a.m. Um, I could pick that up anytime after 8. So I was there at 8.01. About 7.55, the uh, broker on the good paying load called and said that that load had canceled and pushed out for another day. They're giving giving me a $150 uh, truck ordered, not used uh, fee. And uh, yay, now I'm scheduled, now I've got to schedule another load. Um, like I mentioned before, uh, the broker for the uh, truck on the trailer now, he had another truck up in Prescott uh, that I could go pick up and make it, because it was quick and easy, I took it. Uh, it, it wasn't going to take me any more time to sit around and and uh, fill out broker packets and things like that. I could just get on down the road and get it done. And so I did it, right? And I didn't realize at the time, but anyway, let's get into that. Um, so anyway, I picked up the first load, uh, got that on the truck fairly quick and easy. Had to wait around a little bit. The guy, the, I guess it's the used car manager, uh, was in a sales meeting with the sales guys, so I had to wait for that to wrap up so I could get the keys. That was probably a, I don't know. It was, I think the meeting lasted 20, 20 to 30 minutes, but about 20 minutes into it, uh, another guy came along, asked if he could help me, and he was able to uh, locate the key. So I, I went back and got, got started uh, trying to locate the car, and the truck, and when I did, the sales meeting was going on right in front of it. So able to locate the, the, the big man and um, got everything finalized, got the truck on the trailer, got gone 120 miles from Gilbert, Arizona to Prescott, Arizona to pick up the second truck, almost identical to the one that's on there now. It was also a 2019 Silverado extended cab, long bed, 4x4, yada, yada, yada. This thing was a 4x4. But the ass end set in the air like a June bug, and the front was really low. And if anybody's ever worked with these mega ramps, they're kind of a steep ramp. And I don't have, you know, extension ramps for it, per se. I, I built some stuff out of 2x6 material. Uh, maybe I'll show you one day. I don't think I have. And I had to use that to get the front end of this truck to go up the ramps. So... I, and also, too, by the way, uh, as I arrived at the pickup location, I overshot the driveway and had to tour the city to find my way back to get on the property. And what I'm getting around to is the reason why I don't have any film. When you pull onto their property, they have a main entrance. It's two lanes, one lane in, one lane out. I had to go back in that, that two-lane road all the way back into their, it's basically a storage facility where they store the cars that they're working on uh, for the mechanics. And I had to go back in there and get turned around, and that was a work of art. That should have been on film. But, and managed to get it done without hitting the big fuel, uh, fuel storage container they had back there. But, um, 
Anyway, I got turned around, and so as I'm sitting there loading, I'm literally blocking traffic. And um, I, I knew when I walked up to that vehicle and I saw the ass end sticking in the air and the front end low to the ground, it was gonna be time consuming. And I knew I wouldn't have time to film and go through all the steps of getting it on the trailer. So anyway, um, I go through the steps, I get said truck up on trailer, and I can't get the ramps up. I knew the ramps wouldn't fold shut completely. I was gonna have to ride with them in the air. So I ended up getting into truck number one. I had to unstrap it, roll it back as close as I could get it, which only bought me, you know, a couple more inches. Uh, I was able to roll truck number two up a couple more inches. And story of my life, folks, a couple inches short, I could not get the ramps up into the lock position. So those are some other things I could have done. Yeah, maybe. But... And when I say that, what I was thinking I could have done is maybe put a block in between the top of the, you know, the, at, at the joint of the ramp and pinch it in there uh, and, and close it shut with a, a ratchet strap and have it just ratchet, you know, ratchet strap shut onto that board, kind of pinching it in kind of the elbow but of the, of the joint. But I didn't want to risk going through... I didn't want to risk going through... Uh, scales was something like that so I just I told the guy I couldn't get the second truck I had to give the keys back to the dealership and man I, it sucked I might you know my paycheck was literally cut in half and you know this is not a short ride uh, Gilbert Arizona to uh, Paso Robles California I forgot what the mileage is on it but you know it's a lot. I'm, I'm pretty much working for free. You know, I'm covering my fuel. The other option was I drive another 120 miles back and tell them I can't do this one either, and I start all over. Um, option, I guess, B.1 would be find another load, but I've already done that. I've got a load waiting for me up near Paso Robles in... Oh, I can't remember the name of the town. Air Force Base. And... Um, it's going over to another Air Force base in Clearfield, Utah. So I just figured I, you know, bite the bullet, take this truck up there. My expenses are covered at least. Um, maybe a little bit of profit, uh, but not much. And then um, I'm gonna make it up heading over to Utah, I hope. Um, I found another van to put on with that load going to Utah. I'm a little intimidated by it. We're going to see what it looks like because it was an E350 van, which should fit on there easily. Um, I'm only going to be using about 15 feet of deck space for 6,000 pounds on this uh, load that's going from Air Force Base to Air Force Base. But when I called, they sent me the instructions and I'm supposed to call for an appointment to pick up the van. And what I did last night I called for it to schedule an appointment for this morning I found out that it's an ambulance he called it a high top van and I got to thinking after I talked to him how high is that high top and then I started having flashbacks to the shipping container that I took up to Cedar City Utah uh, I think my gas mileage went from like nine miles a gallon down to six and I picture this van doing the exact same thing. Um, so I'm still kind of going over in my head whether or not that's gonna take place. But anyway, enough rambling. Uh, I'm gonna get on to uh, Paso Robles, get this uh, truck off, and then uh, we'll get over there. I'm definitely gonna get that military load first. And then um, I'll just have to see what it looks like and uh, make a decision on what I'm gonna do about that van, the ambulance. It's not even a van to me anymore. It's a big, oversized, wind-catching hunk of ambulance. So anyway, um, we'll see. More shenanigans to come.
your money out the mattress, place your bid Put it all on the cap with the flat bill lid Cause I earn what a stack, proud of where I'm from Now I sign the checks, back and the front I used to play shows free, now I make double nickels When they ask me back, might hit them with a triple Hard to stay humble when you work this hard They tell you shoot for the moon, but I was born a star Now kill me here with your dirty tricks No, nothing's ever changed Outlaw Nation. It's Thursday morning. Let me show you how we wound up on. Uh, I'm sorry. It's Thursday morning. Let me show you how we wound up on Wednesday. Um, so these are three crates of military electronics, uh, all packaged pretty for our uh, our government. Uh, those are going up to uh, Hill Air Force Base in Utah, and then we picked up this bad boy. Uh, that's going right right up to Vegas. Um, I messed around all day yesterday and wound up running short on time. I uh, ran out of hours in, um, where am I, Barstow, California. Um, listen, don't judge on the straps. Um, I had to feed the strap through which ho whichever hole I could get it through at whichever wheel location it was in because when I went around the back, uh, like you would normally do, there are uh, brake uh, calipers back there that um, cut my strap on uh, the vehicle I brought out. And th this was putting me in the same situation. Let me see if I can, <laughs> yeah, see up there? Those calipers stick out. And if I go above the caliper, then the strap sits here, you know, and you want it down lower. Here it wanted to kind of pinch and pull its way off. So I basically had to deal with what I, the cards I was dealt and not all holes can you get it through because if the caliper's in the way, I don't think you can see in there, that one was a, a bitch to fish through, but got it in there, got it strapped on, got down the road, and uh, here we are. So anyway, I'm going to go drop this, uh, go drop that ambulance here in Vegas. I got a call out on one other load, and if it's ready to go in the next few minutes, uh, I'm going to go get it. If not, I'm going to beat feet up the road. I'm already going to be running late for dropping off that uh, that load to uh, Hill Air Force Base. So anyway, we'll see how it plays out. That's why they dealt me in and said they loved me. Now sign your life away. Better play it to the bone, boy. I want to go home, boy, as long as you're in the game. Shit, I'm rocking the road like a Peter Big Big Rig whistling in the wind. About to take it in the nation, no one made like Ken Worth. Right up next to nothing when we came out the gate. Me and Clay took a loss so the bank could get paid. So just give it a beat, boy, and free my soul. But they ain't nothing for free, boy. Indeed, I know. Was it a lot of dotty life? Ain't no bar to keep you here to the grind. Don't shit nobody. Keep your word, boo. So don't die in your sleep. The two pairs long, don't shit where you eat. Keep the ace in the hole with the one. Jack. When life hits slow, you can hit right back Now hit me Yeah, that dirty road up at the top Can get rough, can get rough Then twist and turn, you burn some burns and cuts Lay down some cards and made it hard on myself But it ain't gonna change how the damn thing Just playing the hand I was dead What's up guys, Friday morning just kicked those uh, three crates off up at Hill Air Force Base north of Salt Lake City, Utah. And uh, now I'm going to pick up a couple of, uh, I guess they're great big toolboxes, uh, heading down south to Tucson. Don't deliver till Monday. Uh, that'll put me home for the weekend. Problem is, I'm going to run out of drive time before I get there. So, damn it. Damn it. I'll probably have to spend the night in Vegas. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. Get your money out the mattress, place your bid Put it all on the cat with the flat bill lid Cause I earn what a stack, proud of where I'm from 
Now I sign the checks, back in the front. I used to play shows free, now I make double nickels. When they ask me back, might hit them with a triple. Hard to stay humble when you work this hard. They tell you shoot for the moon, but I was born to saw. Why now? Kill me here with your dirty tricks, no nothing's ever changed. Always scheming to take my money, and that ain't going away. That's why they dealt me in and said they loved me. Now sign your life away. Better play it to the bone, boy. I wanna go home, boy. As long as you're in the game. Now hit me. Yeah, that dirty road up at the top can get rough, can get rough. Them twists and turns, you burn some burns and cuts. Lay down some cards and made it hard on myself, but it ain't gonna change out of jail. Fingers flying for the world to see Told them hang around a minute, we gon' give them a show I'm about to get it, get it poppin' shit, I'm rockin' a road Like a beater, big, big rig, whistlin' in the wind About to take it in the night, you know we made like Ken Worth Right up next to nothing when we came out the gate Me and Clay took it loss so the bank could get paid So just give it a beat, boy, and free my soul But they ain't nothing for free, boy, indeed I know Was it a lot of dotty life, ain't no water Keep you here to the grind, don't shit nobody Keep you work, boo, so don't die in your sleep The two pairs long Don't shit where you eat Keep the ace in the hole With the one eye jack When life hits slow You can hit right back Now hit me When the cards lay down, if we ain't around, then the cards ain't shuffle right. And when they call your bluff, you gon' realize there's a dead man's hand right before your eyes. Now hit me. You should have seen the tale you've been played by the hand uh, that yeah. I did. Kill in the game, a hot son of a bitch. Uh, With my finger flying high and everything that they pitch. Cause if the skipper ain't steering, then the boat won't sail. No. I'm the ace in the hole, so you can ride on my coattails. Termites biting and they're coming out the woodwork. Work when they oh, can yeah. borrow everything I ever stood for. Scope out, uh, right one, let one loose. Whoop. Watch me, Chris Kyle, any dealer I choose. So now, hit me. Alright guys, Saturday morning, taking it to the house, finish up the weekend. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, this weekend was a kick in the dick. Um, started out Monday with, um, I think Monday may or may not have been my fault. There wasn't a lot to choose from on the load boards, but at the same, you know, at the same time as the owner of the business, all the responsibility lies on my shoulders. And should I probably took a maybe a lower paying load to to get out of town maybe uh, I don't remember what crap I was looking at I just remember that nothing impressed me and again I got to take responsibility for my actions so I'm wondering if maybe I was kind of cherry-picking a little bit um, I'm gonna have to be a little more um, open uh, to crappy loads uh, next Monday just to get me into a better market um, so that set me up for a four-day work week and then loads canceling, things like that, that were outside of my control. Well, you know, that's just how my luck rolls. Um, but I think had I got out of town on Monday, um, I don't know, would, would that have changed things? It's hard to say now. But um, the things that I've learned from uh, this past week is definitely, uh, you know, pick the best of, play, play, the, play the best cards you're dealt, I think is, is the moral of the story. Um, I think I probably should have just took something got on the road and um, set myself up with that um, I need to uh, focus on um, going out a little further I think each week um, especially in the early parts of the week and then working my way back um, kind of the you know lessons you learn I, I'm the kind of guy that wants to be home on the weekends want to spend time with the kiddos um, you know they're at the, that age now where you know they if I'm not around and they're spending their, their time with the wrong uh, folks, uh, they could wind up taking the wrong path. So I, I want to be around as much as I can for them. And um, plus, I live in a beautiful town, you know, um, with lots of stuff to do. And that's 
why I do what I do as far as uh, work is to enjoy the benefits of, of where I live. So, um, getting, you know, going out east, stuff like that. You know, if things don't work out in my favor as far as um, staying local, that might be something I have to look at. But one of the things on the uh, in the back of my head is that we're in um, kind of the slower part of the season, you know. Um, coming up on Christmas, just had Thanksgiving. And um, especially for flatbed freight, um, that's kind of the slower part of the year. So I'm just going to have to kind of play play that by ear over the next few weeks till maybe January, February. And then I'll, I can be able to get a more clear focus on the markets. Um, but for right now, um, my goal is to, to um, you know, focus on the, the do's and don'ts, the rights and the wrongs, and um, and then have a, have my game uh, tight when the markets open up. Um, right now is really no time to be making mistakes um, like I may have done Monday by not, you know, just being a little more aggressive and grabbing a load to get out of town. Um, I definitely need to get some, some better ramps. Um, these mega ramps are good if you've got a, a, you know, a pickup truck or a lifted vehicle. You can drive right up and drive right down. But I've had to pass on cars, you know, uh, sedans and stuff like that because of their lower ground clearance. Um, I can't really drive them right up the ramps. And I don't want to waste my time driving over to pick up a car only to not be able to get it on the trailer. So um, I'm going to have to invest in uh, ramps. Uh, I've got, um, I, I don't know which is more of a priority, but I've got to get a fuel cell. Um, this pulling over for fuel every couple of hours is nuts. Um, you know, you can spend 30 minutes at a truck stop trying to get fuel. So um, little things I've got to work out, but um, been an educational week for sure. Um, for those of you guys that are looking to get into this market, uh, this industry, um, especially if you've been in trucking like I have, um, man, you kind of, you, you think you know, you know what you know, but until you've got out and done this hot shot thing, it's a different animal. And there's, there's different um, attributes to it that, you know, you just don't find out until you get out here and, you know, you got boots on the ground. So, um, I would say, you know, watch all the educational videos you can, um, you know, check out, you know, the Hotshot Daves, the Toe Piglets, Holland Cash, um, you know, uh, On the Road, I think his name is, um, gather as much information from all these people as you can, um, you know, before you, before you make the commitment, because, um, even, you know, with experience getting out here and, and doing this thing, man, there's a lot to learn, and uh, the last couple of weeks have been very educational. Um, I don't think it's anything I can't overcome, but it's certainly not exactly as I anticipated it. But um, anyway, having a good time. It's a blast. Uh, like I said, this week was not the best, um, but you're, they're not always going to be good weeks. So anyway, um, that's a wrap for now. Um, taking it to the house, and uh, I got that. Uh, I got those toolboxes from. Um, Utah up on the trailer. Uh, gonna deliver those Monday morning down in uh, Tucson. See what I can grab out of there. Um, I held up on getting my New Mexico permit just because I didn't think um, I was gonna need it. But after this week, um, that's that's not the case. I'm gonna grab that New Mexico permit. Uh, I'm gonna start looking at uh, heading over towards uh, you know El Paso, Dallas, uh, stuff like that. Um, if I can get out there and it may be possible to run the oil fields for a day or two and then uh, home, not what I want to do, but if it pays decent, I consider it. But you know, again, I won't know till I get out there. Well, I guess I could look up the loads, but anyway, I just want to open up more possibilities. So, and the permit's not that expensive. Um, so I think I'm going to do that over the weekend and then, uh, who knows, maybe we'll go further east next week. We'll just see what the load board looks like. But anyway. That's a wrap for this week. Um, again, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I think you're going to learn more from my failures than you will from my successes. But um, this week was, I wouldn't say it's a bust. Uh, the bills are paid. Um, maybe a couple of bucks in my pocket. But I know, I know, I know uh, there's more out there than what I saw this week um, as far as income goes. So fresh start on Monday.
Have an awesome weekend, guys. Get your money out the mattress, place your bed Put in. it all on the cat with the flat bill lid Cause in. I earn what a stack, proud of where I'm from, from. Now I sign the checks, back and the front I used to play shows free, now I make double nickels When they ask me back, might hit them with a triple Hard to stay humble when you work this hard They tell you shoot for the moon, but I was born a star Now I'm you with your dirty tricks No, nothing's ever changed Always scheming to take my money and that that's why they dealt me in and said they loved me Now sign your life away Better play it to the bone, boy Don't wanna go home, boy As long as you're in the game Now hit me Yeah, that dirty road up at the top Can get rough, can get rough And twist and turn, you burn some burns and cuts Lay down some cards and made it hard on myself But it ain't gonna change how to change Jeans, a couple middle fingers flying for the world to see Told them hang around a minute, we gon' give them a show I'm about to get it, get it poppin', shit, I'm rockin' the road Like a Peter Big Big Rig, whistling in the wind About to take it in the nest, you know we're made like Ken Worth Right up next to nothing when we came out the gate Me and Clay took a loss, so the bank could get paid So just give it a beat, boy, and free my soul But they ain't nothing for free, boy, indeed I know Was it a lot of dotty life, ain't no water Keep your head to the grind, don't shit nobody Keep your word boots on, don't die in your sleep Your two pairs long, don't shit where you eat Keep the ace in the hole with the one-eyed jack When life hits low, you can hit right back Now hit me Yeah, that dirty road up at the top Can get rough, can get rough And twist and turn, you burn some burns and cuts Lay down some cards and made it hard on myself But it ain't gonna change how to change to play it right cause when the cards lay down if we ain't around then the cards ain't shuffle right and when they call your bluff you gon' realize there's a dead man's hand right before your eyes now hit me you should have seen the tale you've been played by the hand uh, that yeah. i did came in the game a hot son of a bitch uh, with my finger flying high at everything that they pitch cause if the skipper ain't steering then the boat won't sail no. i'm the ace in the hole so you can ride on my coattails termites biting and they're coming out the woodwork Work when they can borrow everything i ever stood for scope out right one let one loose Watch me, Chris Kyle, any dealer I choose now. It's a long, long, long road When you're made to walk that line Through the twists and turns And the cuts and burns But your boy gon' be just fine When the smoke all clears And the scars all heal Don't tell me how I feel Cause I wouldn't change Not one damn thing I'm just playing the cards I still check them out Now hit me Yeah, that dirty road up at the top Can get rough